Read the following passage and answer questions 1 through 5. Turtle the Turtle Turtle was snug inside his leathery egg. It was completely dark, but he didn't care because he was warm and safe in the nest in the sand. His mother had left Turtle and his brothers and sisters hidden inside the nest. When she knew her eggs were safe, she returned to her place in the ocean. Turtle and his family were sea turtles. One day, something inside Turtle told him he was getting too big for this egg. It was time for Turtle to hatch. It was time for all the baby turtles in the nest to hatch. It is safer to hatch and leave the nest at night. Many predators find baby turtles to be a tasty meal. Birds and mammals will eat baby turtles. Meanwhile, Turtle worked hard to break open his eggshell. Birds have a brittle eggshell, but turtles have a soft shell that is hard to open. It took some time for Turtle to open his egg using his egg tooth, but he worked hard and finally left his shell behind. But remember, Turtle's mother had left her eggs buried about 20 inches deep in the sand. Turtle and the other baby turtles had to dig their way out of the nest, but one by one they emerged from the sand. Turtle didn't have time to look around at the beach. Turtle didn't care about the sky or the stars. Instinct told him that his home was in the ocean. Tiny Turtle wasn't afraid of the big ocean waves that landed on the beach. He ran to the ocean as fast as he could along with dozens of his brothers and sisters who had just hatched too. Turtle already knew how to swim and how to hold his breath underwater. He knew how to breathe while he was under the water too. Turtle used his small flippers to swim out into the vast unknown ocean. Turtle would never come back to the land again, but his sisters will someday lay their eggs on the sandy beach. Question number one, where was Turtle's nest? Uh, option A is in the tree, option B is on the beach. C is in the grass and D is in the playground. So it was on the beach. Question number two. After Turtle's mother laid her eggs, she dashed. A. Stayed and kept the eggs warm. B. Flew away. Option C is returned to the ocean and D is returned to the grass. So after that, she was returned to her place in the ocean. Option C is the correct option. Question number three, the safest time for baby turtles to hatch is in the morning, in the afternoon, at night, in the evening. So it is at night. Option C is the right one. Question number four is right after hatching, turtle had to next dash. Option A is dig out the sandy nest. B is run to the water. C is swim in the ocean and D is keep the nest warm. So, uh, because the leg eggs are laid 20 inches uh, under the sandy beach, so that's why they have to dig out the sandy nest. Question number five, when turtle grows up, he will, option A, return to the beach every year, B is sometime return to the beach, C is always stay in the ocean and D is always stay on the beach. So it is written that turtle would uh, never come back to the land. So option C is the correct option. But his sisters will someday lay their eggs on the sandy beach. Read the following poem and answer the questions 6 through 10. Some people are like caterpillars. Some people are like butterflies. People who are insecure. People who think they are fat. People who think they are ugly. People who are scared of their flaws are the caterpillars. People who have accepted that no matter how hard you try, you will never be perfect. People who are positive. People who are dreamers. People who believe anything can happen as long as you try are the butterflies. The good thing about caterpillars is that they always turn into a beautiful butterfly. You will soon turn into a person who is able to accept that they are who they are. You will be a bit shaky at first, but with more confidence, you will fly high. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द पोएम व्हाट आर पीपल कॉल्ड हु थिंक दे आर फैट और अगली सो दे आर कॉल्ड कैटरपिलर्स क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन व्हाट काइंड ऑफ पीपल बिलीव दैट एनीथिंग कैन हैपन एज लॉन्ग एज यू ट्राई सो हियर पॉजिटिव पीपल इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन आउट ऑफ इनसिक्योर स्केयर्ड और अगली पीपल क्वेश्चन नंबर एट वट डू कैटरपिलर्स इवेंचुअली टर्न इन ऑप्शन ए इज बर्ड्स बी इज फिश सी इज बटरफ्लाईज एंड डी इज फ्लावर्स सो सी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इट्स बटरफ्लाईज क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन हु आर द पीपल इन द पोइम दैट एक्सेप्ट दम सेल्फ फॉर हु दे आर ऑप्शन ए इज ड्रीमर्स बी इज इनसिक्योर पीपल सी इज पॉजिटिव पीपल एंड डी इज अगली पीपल सो हियर पॉजिटिव पीपल एक्सेप्ट दम सेल्फ फॉर हु दे आर Question number ten. According to the poem, what are the people called who are dreamers? Option A: caterpillars. B: is butterflies. C: is tigers. And D: is cats. So they are called butterflies. Question number eleven. Read the following paragraph. Then add the best topic sentence. A topic sentence tells the reader what the paragraph is about. Dash. Sometimes grandparents teach their grandchildren how to do things like ride a bike or play different card games sometimes kids teach adults new things too for example i taught my grandpa a new way to solve math problems and last summer i taught him how to do a flip turn in the pool so option a is kids can learn a lot from their grandparents b is there are some things that older people don't understand C is people of different ages can learn from each other. So option C is the correct option here. Question number twelve. Complete the text with the best word. Fatima has built a cabin, a dog house, and a tool shed in the past. So she is dash working on a tree house. She is earlier working on a tree house first, once, or currently. She is currently working on a tree house. Question number thirteen: You want to persuade someone to see a special starfish. What would you write? Option A: The starfish is not actually a fish. For that reason, some people call it a sea star instead. This is a piece of information. Option B: Is most starfish have five arms. If they lose an arm, they can grow a new one. That is also a piece of information. Option C: Come to underwater world to see the starfish with forty arms. You won't find this rare starfish anywhere else. And the option D is all of above. Option C is the suitable option. Question number fourteen: Select the sentence that matches the following picture. So this is a picture of a bat. Option A is my sister likes to bat her eyelashes, which is incorrect. B is last night he saw. a bat flying around the yard light that is also not right c is the young player chose to use a light weight bat when it was his turn at the plate so c is the correct option here because the last option is some people call the paddles used to guide a plane on the runway as a bat that is also not right question 15 based on these sentences what is ahmed probably like when the alarm rang Ahmed pressed snooze for the fourth morning in the row. He thought I'll start exercising tomorrow instead. So he is bold, lazy, polite, and content. He, so he is lazy because he is delaying the exercise. Question number sixteen: Which example fits best with the opinion and reason? The zoo is a terrible place to go for a school trip. The animal smells often bother students. For example, option A is six kids laughed when the parrot started talking. Option B is seven kids held their noses inside the bat house. Option C is ten kids got splashed at the penguin pool. And D is none of the above. So here, option B is the correct option. Seven kids held their noses inside the bat house. Question number seventeen. Look at the following picture and sentence. The boy opened the package. Now add a detail to the sentence so it says more about the picture. Dash the boy opened the package. 
ऑप्शन ए इज यॉनिंग लेजली ऑप्शन बी इज विद फ्राउन ऑन हिज फेस सी इज ट्रेम्बलिंग विद फेयर एंड डी इज स्माइलिंग वाइटली सो द बॉय इज स्माइलिंग सो डी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन स्माइलिंग वाइटली द बॉय ओपन द पैकेज क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन विच पिक्चर शोज द मीनिंग ऑफ हिट द बुक्स एज इट इज यूज बिलो इफ शी वॉन्ट्स टू डू वेल ऑन द टेस्ट शी विल हैव टू हिट द बुक्स so in option a she is literally hitting the books which is not right in option c she is putting her feet on the books and uh, uh, watching the phone so that is also not correct option b is the suitable one because here she is reading something from the uh, computer as she is wearing the glasses and books are opened as well so option b is the correct option here question number 19 look at these details from the paragraph about whales Whales eat together. Whales travel in groups. Whales protect each other from danger. Choose the main or central idea that ties all the details together. Option A is whales will go to far away places with other whales. B is whales make sounds to talk to one another. C is whales often spend time with other whales. D is whales, seals, and sharks have a layer of fat called blubber. so according to the given information whales often spend time with other whales question number 20 read the following indian folk tale and answer the below given questions the elephant and the dog a dog used to visit the king's elephant over time the dog and the elephant became great friends when the elephant ate the dog ate when the elephant slept the dog slept the two were only happy when they were together One day a farmer saw the dog I would like to buy that dog he said to the elephant keeper that keeper sold the dog to the farmer and the farmer took the dog away the elephant missed the dog very much when it was time to eat the elephant wouldn't eat when it was time to sleep the elephant wouldn't sleep the doctor was called there was nothing wrong with the elephant's body he told the keeper she seems lonely though Has she lost a friend? Yes," said the keeper. "There was a dog who used to play with her, but he is gone. Get the ba- dog back," the doctor said. "Then the elephant will feel better." The keeper went to the farmer and brought back the dog. The elephant was happy again when the dog ate his food. The elephant ate hers. When the dog slept, so did the elephant. The dog and the elephant lived the rest of their lives happily together. What is the main theme of the folk tale? True friends stay close in spite of distance. B is always share what you have with others. C is friends make life worth living. And D is none of above. So option C is a suitable option here. Friends make life worth living. Question number twenty-one. What is the main purpose of the following poster? The gift of giving. This holiday season help poor people in need. Here are three ways you can help others. So let's read the options now. Option A is to entertain people with some funny story about the holidays. That is not right. B is to inform people about the best way to cook a big holiday meal. C is to persuade people to buy a new coat and a hat for winter. C is to inform people about ways to help others over the holidays. So option D is the correct option here. Question number twenty-two: Use the text to put the events in the order. Digestion begins even before food reaches your stomach. When you see or smell food, your mouth produces saliva. As you chew the food, the saliva helps make it mushy and easier to swallow. Swallowing pushes the food into the part of your throat called the pharynx. Over there, the food moves down your esophagus and into your stomach. The first point is food travels to your stomach. Second is you swallow. Third is you chew. Fourth is saliva is produced. Now we have to arrange the sequence. First of all, saliva is produced. So will come first, then we chew. After that, we swallow, and then food travels to our stomach. So the sequence is four, three, two, one. Question number twenty-three: Which book title best matches the following picture? 
विंग्स ओवर वॉशिंगटन डीसी बी इज अंकल एलमर सेल्स टू फ्रांस सी इज अंकल एलमर फ्लाइंग मशीन एंड डी इज द फ्लाइंग पैंडा सो सी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन है क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न अबाउट लार्ज लैंड एनिमल्स फाउंड इन द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स विच बुक शुड यू पिक ऑप्शन इज ऑल अबाउट आईलैंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड ओशनिया बी इज ओशन जाइंट्स सी इज वाइल्ड जाइंट्स बियर्स ऑफ द नॉर्थ अमेरिका सो ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन है क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव रीड द फॉलोइंग पैसेज फॉर द स्टोरी एंड आंसर द गिवन क्वेश्चन बिलो Ali and Fatima didn't mean to start their own museum but that's what happened it all started one day when they were playing pirates in their backyard they were digging for buried treasure when Ali's shovel hit something hard clank maybe there was treasure buried in their backyard brushing away the dirt Ali found a pair of stone feet they looked at each other in surprise Fatima grabbed the feet and tried to pull them out It's too big, Fatima said. I think there is more. Let's keep digging. They picked up their shovels and went back to work. Based on the passage which is most likely to happen next. Option A, Ali and Fatima find a pirate ship. B is Ali and Fatima decide to stop digging. C is Ali and Fatima find a statue. D is Ali and Fatima find a treasure chest. So they found a pair of a stone feet. so which can be a part of a statue so option c can be the suitable one ali and fatima find a statue when they kept on digging the backyard